Hold on a second. Damage indicator mod. This mod adds a damage indicator when units get hit customizable. Does this mean I can actually see how much damage I'm dealing to One Punch Man? Ever thought a health bar wasn't enough? Do you want accurate damage descriptions? This mod is for you. I would like accurate damage descriptions. I think this will be great. Upon installation, the mod will work automatically. You can disable or customize it in the gameplay settings tab. Sick. Oh, and this is what it looks like. Let's just give it a manual download. Where in the world did I put Totally Accurate Battle Simulator? Okay, on the screen, you see the Blood mod, the Gore mod, and the Damage Numbers mod in Office Glory. But these numbers are really small. In the immortal words of Greystone Plays, rookie numbers. Let's take these numbers for a spin. I'm just gonna grab a couple clubbers like that. And over here, I'm gonna grab a couple of protectors like that. And let's see what these numbers look like. Oh, look at that. A 12 and a 30. And this clubber's fighting without a head and another 30 in the sky. Oh, 120. Did you see that? That was a big number. Okay, let's um, let's be real here. 120, not that big. 119. It's a beautiful, fat, giant number, but we got to go bigger. Let's grab some more powerful units. I want to see how large these numbers can get. Give me the king. And he's going to fight Mr. Death himself. How much damage do these units deal? Big slash from Mr. Death himself. Look at that. It's actually multiple hits. There's a 49, a 50, and then a 400. Very cool. How about King Philip? Oh, another 400. That's 400 every time. Interesting. King Philip, 440. King Philip's sword deals more damage than the scythe. So far, we've seen 440. Can we get even bigger? Yeah, Zeus is lightning bolt on a bunch of squires. This is probably a bad idea. Here we go. Um, 50? Where's the chain reaction? 50. There should be a chain reaction. I wanted, like, chain lightning to happen. It, there's, there's no chain lightning. <laughs> Look at the little tiny numbers. A 3, a 2, a 1, a 153, a 160, an 83, a 160. I wanted chain lightning. What about some slightly modded units? What about the greater dragon? I want to see how much damage that fire breath can deal. I mean, this is going to be perfectly fine. What's the worst that's going to happen? Slow mo. The fire breath is currently above the squire's heads. Just imagine being one of these squires. You look up and there's fire breath above you and you know, you know it's coming to get you. There we go. Now we're talking and it seems they're actually small numbers. A three, a one, a one, a four, a three, a two. They're just tiny numbers, but there's lots of them. Lots and lots and lots of tiny numbers from the fire breath. Oh, I just had a thought. I just had a thought. A ballista. How much damage does that deal? I gotta know. I gotta know. Billy, the Ballista Bolt Boy, is about to launch a Ballista at these guys. I'm waiting for the moment. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give it to me. There it goes. Here it goes. The moment before impact. Maximum slow mo. 2,000 damage. And this guy actually took 39 damage somehow. 2,000 damage. And this part of his body is making a beautiful red blood display. It's a blood rainbow. It's a blood bow. Full speed. And the torso is literally gone into the nether. Question? I have a question. I'm going to summon uh, Ice Giant. Ice, 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 ice Giant. And then over here, we're going to put lovely Larry. But we're not done yet. We are going to enable God Powers. With my God Powers, does it actually show the damage numbers? Oh, no. I've got some of the modded God Powers. Oh, no, no, no. Give me just a regular one, please. There we go. A regular arrow. Will it show the arrow's damage? Uh, no. Oh, it did. It did. 190. There it is. 190, 190. Okay. Okay. In that case, let me fire a fireball. A fi fireball. Fireball. Oh, he's building. You can actually see the fire damage coming off him. All the little numbers of fire damage. It's awesome. You can see him slowly taking tons and tons of fire damage. It's great. Oh, a tank round? I want to know this one. Here we go. Oh, oh, I, I just killed him. I just killed him. Let me try that tank round again. Where's the damage? Did anyone see the damage number? It's in there somewhere. I don't know where the damage number is. I lost sight of it. Him with another tank round. Oh, there it is. 2,000. Does that say 2,000? It does say 2,000 damage. The same as a ballista bolt. Is that the maximum? Can we go past the maximum? It is time for science. We're going to make a brand new unit. And this brand new unit needs some, some quick clothes. He's a hot dog. He just needs to be a hot dog, that's all. In his hand, he shall have a weapon. We're just gonna give him a standard bow and arrow. I'll give him some hit points just so he doesn't die immediately. But here's the thing, damage times one. We'll leave his damage at one. We'll call him damage test dog. And we will take our damage test dog and see how much damage he does with the times one multiplier. Ready? Uh, uh, damage test, 
Dog, can you please? Oh my god, the, the length of time it takes for him to reshoot is a mistake. Look at that. And damage test dog took his maximum smack to the head. Let damage test. Ooh, 440. Let damage test dog take a shot. I want to see how much damage he does to you, Mr. King. Phil. Oh, he missed again. Is it because he's shooting it one handed? Okay, now he's going to shoot it two handed. Much better. Let's try this again. Damage test dog shooting King Philip for 190 damage. That's the times one multiplier. Now we're going to take the times one multiplier and make it times two. And I'll increase the attack speed so we can like shoot faster. We'll just recreate our test. Damage dog right here. King Philip right there. And now we will see if that damage was actually doubled. Slow mo activated, waiting for the moment the arrow impacts into King Philip 380. It did, in fact, double. Oh, King Philip, you don't know what's about to come and get you. Yeah, we'll just make this a times 10 now for science. Damage test dog. Now, at a times 10 multiplier, we're gonna see just how much damage our dog deals to King Philip. And you missed. You in the foot. Like, you absolutely missed. You had one job damage test dog. When you have to restart the fight because your damage test dog is horrible at shooting. There we go. The damage is 1900 times 10. Let's increase that number even higher. Damage times 50. Can we break that seemingly barrier of 2000 damage? Waiting for damage test dog. How much damage is it? How much damage? That starts with a nine. Nine, five. Ladies and gentlemen, we can break 2000 damage. How high can we go with the damage? Oh my damage test dog, you are about to deal 500 times damage. We're just gonna take our damage test dog and put him over here. And then I'm gonna get a bunch of uh, hobbits because dealing damage to hobbits is always fun. Give me that 500 times damage multiplier. You can't miss. There's a pile of hobbits right in front of you. Little halflings, you cannot. 95 damage. 95,000 damage a shot. That's insane. But it's not nearly big enough. Again, quoting the wonderful Gray still plays. Rookie numbers. Also, kind of looks like the hobbits are eating the hot dog. <laughs> That's gruesome, man. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the damage. We're gonna put uh, a three, a nine, a six, an eight, a five, a seven, a three, a nine, a zero. Uh, what, what is that? What is that? Three hundred ninety-six million eight hundred and fifty-seven thousand three hundred and ninety. I mean, sure. What's the worst that can happen? Let's put him down on a nice wide open area so that we can't miss. And I'll put down my little hobbits. And now we're gonna see just how much damage this bow is going to deal to a hobbit with hundreds of millions of damage multiplier. This bow shot is going to be disgusting. Slow mo. Here we go. The moment, the impact. Where's the where's the damage numbers? Su su sir, I demand damage numbers. Okay, they're they're making damage numbers. Is there a, a limit visually to the size of the damage number? Let me just try this one more time, just to be sure. Just to be sure. I'm not seeing a damage number. There might be a limit. Let me double check my unit. Okay, so the number is actually still there. What if I remove two zeros and we just have what is that? Three million? Just 3.9 million. We'll, we'll try that. We'll tone down the numbers a bit just to see if it'll actually show up. We may have already broken the game. Please work, please work, please work, please work. And we'll just put a couple clubbers over here. Great. Show me the damage. Show me the numbers. No, no numbers. Three million times damage. Made the numbers too big, it seems. Second shot, still no numbers. How big can we go until it's too big? Third shot, lots of blood, no numbers. Let's go back to our damage multiplier. We're at 3 million. I'm going to tone that down to 300. Th Wait, hold on. We weren't at 3 million. Did we not overwrite the number? I'm going to put 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That's 1 million times. We're going to try that. Overwrite the unit. And you know, just to double check, I'm actually gonna open the unit back up just to make sure it's actually at a million damage. We need to be sure we cannot afford any mistakes in this calculation. Boom, one million damage. Let's see if the number shows up. Let's fight in heaven because if you're doing enough damage, you're you're basically a god. Hot dog man and a handful of squires. Show me the damage. Show me the damage. We've been waiting patiently for a big number. Uh, and, and, and the hot dog missed. There, there it is. The big number arrow going way over here. Good job, Mr. Hot Dog. Shot the ground. Like, wh what are you doing? Hot Dog Man, you have one job. Do your job. Shoot somebody in the face. You missed them both. You missed all three of them. Do I need to summon more squires so you just can't miss? Come on, you stupid failure of a lunch item. Get, get, why did you shoot the ground? 
Pick a squire, any squire, and just shoot them in the chest. Oh, whoa, whoa, look at the size of that number, that's insane. Um, one, two, three, zeros, four, five, six, 380 million damage. Can we go even bigger? So if it showed 380 million damage, is the limit breaking over into the billion range? So for example, 380 times three is more than a, or more than a thousand, so more than a billion. So if I do this, and I just take this this number, if I can just die like that. I want three million. Three, zero, 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 three million. This should create one billion damage. And once again, go back in there, make sure it actually says three billion, because if it doesn't say three million, or three hundred million, three million, you know what I mean? If it doesn't say that, it won't work. And it, it, do, it doesn't, it didn't. What, what is that? What? That one says one million. No, I want three. Zero, 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 zero. I want three million damage. Click. Save overwrite. And we're going back in to double check. And it's at one million damage. What? Why, why, why won't you let me go higher? I want to go higher. Erase this. Three, one, zero, 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 zero. That's 3.1 million times. Give me the number. I'm going to save it as a new unit. Watch. Test dog version two. We will save this as a brand new unit. Maybe that'll work. Let's go and check test dog two. Stats. There it is. There it is. 3.1 million times. This should break a billion damage with the bow. Let's see. And let me add test dog two. Remove test dog one. And we'll save the faction. Here we go. Moment of truth. Can we break a billion damage in totally accurate battle simulator? Will it show? Test dog two. The arrow shot. Oh, okay. Uh, let me just do some counting. That's 589 billion damage. Did, did I math right? I mean, 589 million damage is a significant amount of damage, but it doesn't seem to be correct. 589 million damage. 589 million. Okay, let's just increase the damage even more. I will get my billion. I swear to God. Take this three and return it into a six, one, two, zero, 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 zero. That's that just, just, just tons of damage. That's 6.1 million percent. And we'll call them test dog three. Double check damage three. It says 3.1. Okay, fine, 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 fine. fine. Six, two, zero, 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 zero. Okay, right, 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 right. And then we're gonna go over here, call it test dog four, and make a brand new unit. New unit, verifying new unit. It still says 3.1. Why? This is 6,666,666. And I'm gonna give him a new hat. He's gonna get it, he's gonna get a new hat. He's gonna get this, this fin thing. It's great. And then we're gonna take a picture of the fin thing. That's awesome. I'm making a brand new unit. Okay, look, look, 6666. Six, six, six. It's great, it's great. We're calling it Damage Dog Ultra. New name. Make new unit, give me my damage numbers. I want a billion damage. Here he is, Fin Dog, test damage dog ultra. Loads in, there it is, six, 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 all the sixes. Let's do this, let's add damage ultra. And now we are going to place damage ultra on the field with his little fin head and we'll drop some random squires that he can't miss. And now the moment of truth, can I crack a billion damage and have it display on the screen. The arrow goes, the moment of truth, the arrow of, <gasps> it's beautiful. The damn it's so big. 1,266,666,496 damage. We dealt a billion damage. Will it break at 10 billion? So we basically need to make this one digit bigger. So if I go like, hold on, how many, how many sixes is this? This is like seven, eight sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 66 million percent. And we need to add another item to him just to make him even more epic. I wanna give him like wings or something cool. I'm gonna give him demon wings because he's getting demonic doing that many sixes. And it'll be Damage Desk Dog Mega Ultra. Take a picture of Damage Desk Dog Mega Ultra. Save as a brand new unit. Quick verification that it actually deals eight sixes in multiplier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, a six is missing, but it's still 66 times. 66 million times. Yeah, that one. In theory, this should deal at least 10 billion damage. We should add another digit to this pile. Will the game still display that many digits? Here is Damage Test Dog Mega Ultra against the little army of squares. Please, please give me another digit. Give me 10 billion damage. The arrow of truth. 
impacts. Oh, we may have found the visual limit of the damage mod. 1 billion damage is fine. 10 billion damage, not so much. The mod breaks and no longer shows you the damage numbers. And yet the rest of the damage numbers still apply, just the big ones don't show up. They're just, they're just too big. What if I zoom out? I'm gonna zoom out. Do we see the big numbers like in a weird spot anywhere on the screen? No, the big numbers are just, they're just gone. The big numbers are just gone. So 1 billion, that many digits is, is the limit. So this finally begs the question I've been wondering. If I shoot Saitama with those numbers, what do we see? Do we actually see the numbers? This is the unit that's broken. I'm sorry, we need to get the unit that is not broken. Mr. Ultra, seven digits. Verify that this is the correct hot dog. Mr. Hot Dog, shoot the squires. Boom, seven digits, 1.2 billion damage. Remove the squires, give me Saitama. Can Saitama take 1.2 damage? This is why I downloaded this mod. This is what I wanted to see. Can Saitama take it? Here we go. Moment of truth. Saitama's walking closer. I need... He might dodge the arrow. He's just gonna dodge... He's just gonna crow. He's gonna dodge the arrow. You need him to deal... Oh, man. Oh, I'm so dumb. Hold on. Oh, I just had a crow slot. Oh, I know this is gross. This is gross. Do you guys remember the God Archer mod? What if he shoots 1111 arrows on a 44 spread with zero recoil and one attack speed? Okay, this, this is a bad idea. I am making a horrifying mistake if this actually works. Okay, can I summon this archer god? Can he please, for the love of God, fire that many arrows? And will all those arrows show damage numbers? What have I done? This is a huge mistake. This is a gross, disgusting mistake. If this actually works, please fire. Multiple arrows. Oh no, yeah, oh, okay. This is, this is intense. This is intense. Will, where's, where's the damage numbers? Where's the damage numbers? Why the damage numbers? Does Saitama shrug off the damage? Does this modded Saitama just completely shrug off the damage and, 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 and the damage number Saitama deals was enough to kill him? He's got, what, what just happened? Okay, here's, here's a question. Here's a question, okay? What if I get like an ice giant? Right. There's a big fat target, big fat target. And then over here, I'll just put a random unit, whatever. Uh, fire your giant volley of arrows. Don't get frozen solid. Fire your giant volley of arrows. And where are the damage numbers? There's the damage numbers, 190. It, it, didn't, it didn't go big. So if that didn't go big, is it because of the mod? Is it because of the multiple arrow mod? Did I just, did, did it revert back to regular arrows? Quick test, summon my dude. Please shoot this ice giant and do your big, big, big damage, please. There it is. Big damage. That worked. So how do we hit Saitama with that now? What if I make his attack speed hugely fast? If I can't use the god mod to force the multiple arrows, what if I make the attack speed just obnoxiously quick? Like a, like a machine gun. Let's slap down our machine gun dog, and then I'll just do a quick little test like that. Machine gun dog, go! That's better. Now we're talking, look at all the billions of damage going off. Remove the archers, remove machine gun dog. Bring machine dog go gun, that's a mouthful. Bring him closer, get Saitama. He needs to be close enough to not use super serious punch. And one of these arrows has to hit, one of them. Anyone, anyone needs to hit, there, we did it. We hit Saitama for 1.2 billion damage. We actually pulled it off it is confirmed you can deal damage to him and with the blood mod you can actually remove his head and that 1.2 billion damage times two times three is not enough to kill saitama he's truly immortal we're dealing billions upon billions of damage and he's still dodging all the arrows super serious punch killed our guy yeah we're back in totally accurate battle simulator it's time to go to the workshop and we need to find 10 new gods amongst this mess of units let's just type in the word god and let's sort it by all time we're gonna find the most popular guards ever made guards i, I, I meant gods not, not guards well, let's see what kind of options we have here god peasant can beat 60 plus super peasants god of gods sure why not Ooh, this dark and evil god looks awesome guys the god of devils oh this is gonna be great the god of destruction the god of tab's boss god by flow god of destroyer golem he looks insane also he's humongous god homer <laughs> please please tell me he's a god i'm downloading him killer you have my attention here we have our 10 gods let's uh 
put them into a faction. Let's just put all these gods into this faction. And now it's time to try and be stronger than One Punch Man. There he is, the strongest unit in the world, Saitama. And for his first opponent, it is the god of gods himself. He seems to have a dark peasant throw in his hands. I'm just hoping that whatever he's gonna throw will be able to defeat Saitama. This first god better be able to pull this off. I do not want to be here all day. Oh, here comes the massive volley. You can't see it because of the clouds. Huge volley of attacks going after One Punch Man. Oh my god! <laughs> But there's the super serious punch and Saitama destroyed the god. <laughs> Look at all the blood, are you kidding me? <laughs> How did One Punch Man survive that? <laughs> all right, let's take Saitama to Larry's farm. Even though actually that's not Larry's farm, this is someone else's farm. Saitama, where are we? And this is the god created by Flo. Except what happened to the god's head? Why is the head so tiny? I don't think it was meant to look this small. We've got wings, we've got tentacles, we've got a beautiful scepter and a mace. I don't know if this is gonna be enough to defeat Saitama. Let's start the fight. One Punch Man slowly walks forward and our god backpedals, sending, I don't know what that was, some sort of crazy light ability. And now our god puts his hands in the air and receives a totally normal consecutive punch defeating the god yeah if i got punched in the head your tiny 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 head too like i'd die um i'm trying to summon the god of gods but something is going horribly hor horribly wrong apparently there are six gods here i can't delete them and every time i try and summon him he just goes boop, boop, gone i can't summon him on either side <laughs> okay hold on i start the fight I, i'm gonna start the fight wait, 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 where's the gods has anyone anyone seen the gods no? I mean, is it bugged? Is it broken? Is this gonna be how the fight's gonna be? So god number three loses by default because he went into a different dimension. Hold on, if I summon a bunch of these, right? And then I start the fight, and, and clearly there's nothing there, but I end the fight, and all of a sudden they, they appear, <laughs> and then they disappear again. It's so broken. Let's take this fight in front of the Sphinx. I mean, it's perfectly fitting to have a fight for gods against gods among gods. And maybe the Sam will slow Saitama down? I highly doubt it. But Saitama is facing a big, dark, evil looking god. Though we can probably already guess what a flimsy lightsaber sword is going to do to One Punch Man. Probably not a whole lot, not gonna lie. At least the dark hands of God will do something to Saitama. Let's start this fight right now and instantly destroy it. Can, can I move the God back a little bit to at least give him a, a, a fighting chance? Yeah, just gonna, uh, uh, Mr. God, are you, are you trapped in the earth? Did One Punch Man hit you so hard that he punched you halfway through the world? I'll remove him and move him a little bit further back so maybe he has a fighting chance. Okay, here we go, here we go, start the fight, start the fight. And he immediately walks in. You just walk right up to One Punch Man, get one punched, and you're shocked? Going from the burning desert to the frozen wastes. Though I'm pretty sure One Punch Man is practically immune to the cold. No, Saitama? Not even like a, a little shiver? And this guy is the god peasant. I have to be honest, there's something terrifying about him. I mean, the lack of a face, the lack of weapons. Honestly, if I was One Punch Man, I would be afraid of this opponent. Here we go. Let's start this fight. So you go! The god didn't instantly die to Saitama's consecutive normal punches. I am honestly shook. Let's keep going. So, and the god actually managed to punch Saitama. Saitama did end up winning, but I will give this god credit. He lost his head and kept fighting, and Saitama lost his head and kept fighting. This god came the closest to defeating One Punch Man. Credit where credit is due. Halloween is around the corner, and I thought it'd be a good idea to take Saitama here for his next fight. Because his next fight is a being of darkness. In, in fact, I recognize this y d wait didn't isn't this my vulcan guys i'm pretty sure i designed this unit to be a god evil version of vulcan in my 100 day survival stories which means he's clearly not powerful enough and he will die to one punch man in a split second here watch this the fight begins evil vulcan slams saitama to the ground congratulations you lived fairly long until the serious punch took evil vulcan for a trip into another dimension I like how the dark hands of God are caressing Saitama nicely and gently. You don't grab him roughly. You won't like what happens if you do that. Now we take Cyclops. Cyclops, Saitama. Ladies and gentlemen, I have spawned the one-eyed Saitama. I never thought I would see this day. Get it? I? Because 
He's only got one eye. Cyclops Saitama versus the God Killer. I know I should be paying attention to the God Killer unit, but Saitama's literally a Cyclops. <laughs> this is so funny. He's a Cyclops. Let's start the fight. Cyclops Saitama versus the God Killer. God Killer with a double, triple, quadruple teleport, quintuple teleport to try and get somewhere safe to fight Cyclops Saitama, but it's not enough. Red victory. God Killer couldn't quite sneak up on <laughs> the Cyclops, guys. Ah, the smell of the ocean, the sound of the waves, and Saitama is going to fight this red god devil thing. Appropriately called the god of devils, he is going to fight one punch man. And I don't like his chances, not going to lie. And uh, uh, Saitama first was a Cyclops, and now one of his legs is shorter than the other. That is a very strange sight, not going to lie. The battle commences, swords being thrown by the god devil straight into the chest of Saitama once, twice, th almost three times. The third sword missed, Saitama got close, consecutive normal punches, the god of devils dies. And Saitama did it on pretty much one leg. I know it's not Christmas yet, but I just like this map, it's so pretty. And even Saitama, whose eyes are spaced far too far apart, enjoys Christmas from time to time. And we all know Homer Simpson loves Christmas with his family. Can God Homer Simpson defeat Saitama? Moving in quickly, going for the f going, going for the Why did he die? Didn't Homer kill himself from alcohol poisoning? What happened? One Punch Man in the mountains on the legacy map. We needed a map this big for his final opponent. This massive. Can One Punch Man defeat this ginormous being? I recall he's called the God of Golems. Let's see what happens. The God of Golems summoning something, raising his hands into the sky, trying to make Saitama bow down. One Punch Man doesn't bow for anybody. Look at that massive explosion. And the God of Golems is launched into the air and there's, there's another being. Who is this? Were you riding the God of Golems? That's crazy, but then you land in the consecutive normal punches and Saitama defeated you. You think we're done? We're nowhere near done. Saitama has to fight every single god simultaneously. I hope you're ready, One Punch Man. The fight commences. Some of the gods teleport in. Oh yes, this god was the one to do the most damage to One Punch Man, even causing Saitama to lose his head thanks to that one mod. And now One Punch Man is literally traveling around the planet, being thrown all over the place, spells being tossed, serious punches happening, lightning beams coming from the sky, giant gods getting destroyed, Saitama being crowd controlled by the dark hands of God and continually bombarded with light spells from this god. This is gross. This is disgusting. A perfect combo attack. Crowd control from the dark peasant hands. Damage from these god beams. Saitama's blood raining everywhere. Super serious punch destroying one unit. And now Saitama no longer controlled by the dark hands of god slowly advances on this being summoning all that damage. I mean, look at Saitama. Look at him. He's just being bombarded. But there is the serious punch wiping out the final unit. Lands. Saitama is the most powerful. But if you think this was the end, you think we're done? We are not done. I can't believe I found it. I have finally found the God mod. God has abandoned us. The popular YouTuber mod brought to you by yours truly making units throw billions of projectiles. Finally, with the power of this mod, I can defeat that stupid one punch man. Or, well, I better. We'll see. No, oh, man, I can't wait. Saitama's gonna get wrecked. Which map should I use to destroy One Punch Man? You know what? Let's just start a legacy. I mean, this place gives me all the room I need to cause absolute mayhem. So there's a couple different Saitamas I could use for this experiment, but we're gonna use the pretty much official one. The one created by Grad. This Saitama right here, who's practically immortal. Honestly, he's actually almost too overpowered, not gonna lie. For example, I could take something like a boatload of Artemises, and I'll, I'll, I'll throw some more over here, right? And then I'll throw some over here. And just, this is just for control test. Look at that. Look at this man dodge. It's insane. He decimates this army just so quickly. You ever play dodgeball as a kid? I was a dodgeball champion, and there's no way I could be like this. This is insane. Though if we played dodgeball with arrows, that would be a whole different class. So regular gods stand no chance against Saitama. He's far too strong. He's far too powerful. Look at him dodge. Look at that. He's like a jiggly jiggly man. This dude's got some serious side hops. And now he's decimating the last of our Artemis army. 
What does one Artemis think she's going to do against the One Punch Man? Yeah, where'd he go? Artemis, do you see him? Found him! Regular Artemises. They're strong, but we're gonna we're gonna delete them. They're gone now. Goodbye. So instead, we're going to our lovely mod and we're gonna type in ammo. I'm gonna go from one ammo to eleven ammo. Spread? We're not gonna modify the spread. Recoil? We're definitely not modifying the recoil. Attack speed? We'll leave it alone. And now I'm actually gonna take the exact Artemises we just had, and I'm gonna summon a group over here and a group over here and a group over here. Now these Artemises are firing 11 arrows instead of one, and they're in giant chunks of arrows. You can see that Saitama is becoming far more of a pincushion than he was before, as 11 arrows are striking him for every one arrow. And that doesn't matter. He punched one pile, he serious punched the other, and now he's slowly dancing his way to this pile of Artemises. It's useless, it's pointless. We need to go even bigger numbers. We need even bigger numbers. Let me just go over here and uh, slap down Saitama right there. Perfect, looks great. And let's go to a uh, uh, 50 ammo and uh, uh, one spread. We'll do one spread, zero recoil and regular attack speed. That's, that's great. It's gonna be great. Nothing's gonna go wrong. And this time we're gonna go with regular old um, archers, right? Just just these guys here, regular archers. And I'm gonna summon a beautiful ring of archers. Now this is gonna be fantastic. Each arrow is actually gonna be 50 arrows and the arrows are all gonna fire at once and you'll feel a little bit of lag in the game when it fires. All right, all right, are you ready, Saitama? There's a lag and there's the 50 arrows. Pause, look at that. Each archer fired 50 arrows, and they're all aimed at Saitama's belly, or what was Saitama's belly, now Saitama's doing his side hops thing. Seriously, could you not even give them a chance, Saitama? And the side hop, he dodged every single arrow. I like how they made this really cool ring of arrows, that's actually fantastic. If only they landed on Saitama. Though it seems a few may have caught his hand. That's great, look at that, that's wonderful. And now his consecutive normal punches has decimated that entire army. Or half the army, and then the serious punch destroys the rest. You know what you need, Sama? You need a little bit of control. Yeah, we're gonna take this to the simulation map. Oh, no, no, the arena. Here we are on the arena, and I'm actually gonna change the line. The line is no longer going to be straight. It's actually going to be a ring, and poor One Punch Man shall be placed in the center of the ring. Why would I put you in the middle of an arena, Saitama? Don't worry about it, everything's going to be fine. And now we need to find a way to control Saitama. The harpooners are exactly that control. If we take the harpooners and we just go around just like this. Now he is surrounded 360 degrees by people that want to crowd control him, including the long neck harpooner and the really short harpooner. This is what happens when all the harpooners fire on Saitama and the majority of them miss again in this really beautiful fanning direction. And this is the result I expected from regular everyday harpooners. They're doing a decent job of controlling him, but Saitama's quite strong and he just burrows his way through all these minions. But what if we took the harpooners and we turned them into gods? Yeah, that serious plunge is a little bit ridiculous. We need to go to an even more Bruh. open map. Look at all the room to play. Now we're talking. Let's grab one bunch man, slap him down in the middle, and uh, no, no, not harpooners. One bunch man. Oh, Saitama, look at the size of this map. There's so much room for activities here. And let's actually test the maximum range of the harpooners. We are going to control Saitama. Now, these harpooners, as you can see, are really far away. The question is, at this distance, at this range, can they reach one punch man? Let's find out. Okay, good. At this distance, they all open fire and they all hit Saitama, but we know how this is gonna end. They didn't do a job. They didn't do a good job. They're actually harpooning each other, flicking each other across the room. One Punch Man is still unfair. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take the ring and increase it a little bit bigger. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four bigger? Harpoon is around. There we go. Now we're doing the size test because the bigger the ring, the more harpooners we can fit in it. Can they all reach? They can all reach. We must go bigger. We are at over a hundred harpooners now. Can they still reach Saitama at this range? They can. Oh my goodness, more than a hundred harpooners. I think a hundred is a perfectly good number, guys. Can a hundred regular harpooners control Saitama? He's there. He's standing in the middle. He's doing his dodges. Oh no, the harpooners are dragging each other in because they're missing each other with the harpoons and Saitama breaks free. 100 normal harpooners are not enough to stop One Punch Man. We have to upgrade the harpooners. Let's start with a harpooner that fires instead of one harpoon, 10 harpoons. Zero spread, zero recoil, 
one attack speed. Select our harpooners and then place them around One Punch Man. 101 harpooners, just like the 101 Dalmatians. And they open fire and look, look at the sheer number of harpoons, 10 harpoons per shot. Boom, look right there. That's 10 harpoons and that's 10 harpoons and that's 10 harpoons and that's 10 harpoons. And he has been skewered with easily 100 harpoons. Is this enough to control? Saitama, here we go. Slow-mo, full speed. He's there, he's not moving. The harpooners are missing. He's dodging all the shots and the dodging is causing the harpooners to drag each other to each other, to, to, yeah. Drag each other to each other? Sure, why not? That's English. Saitama is still in the middle of the map. He's starting to resist. He's made it to the outer ring and now we have disaster. You guys ever been to your grandma's house where she's got like this sewing set and then she's got this little like pin cushion thing where all the pins are stabbed into. That's Saitama right now. Though I doubt grandma has this many pins. And oh, Saitama, your eyes. What's wrong with your eyes? This is quite the moment, I gotta say. Yeah, One Punch Man is about to destroy every single one of these gods. I don't think 10 is enough. I think they need to fire closer to 50 this next time. Let's give it a shot. And we're gonna delete this ring of gods. Goodbye, gods. And this time we're gonna upgrade it to 50 shots with a zero spread, a zero recurl, and a one attack speed. For those of you wondering what the spread looks like, I'll show you later. And now we're gonna summon 100 of these gods. Hopefully they don't ruin my computer considering they're each firing 50 projectiles. This could be a bad idea. 101 Dalmatians, 101 Harpooners firing 50 shots. You've got um Hourglass figure Harpooner. Now my new favorite, this guy's waist is tight. And then you got a big brother, Harpooner. Just, just everyone's big brother, he's just so huge. Oh, and you've got little brother, Harpooner. Hey, Hobbit boy. And this Harpooner, this one right here, he has seen some things. His are the eyes of terror. Harpooners, 101 of them, 50 shots a piece. Oh no, 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 no. I activated it and the slow-mo kicked in. Pause, oh please, oh please. I'm scared to let these impact. Here we go. Slow-mo, the impact hitting Saitama. Look at the ring of harpoons around him. Are you kidding me? Oh no, some of the harpoons are missing and they're gonna hit harpooners. I think the distance makes the accuracy a bit of a problem. Full speed, Saitama is looking particularly pin cushiony now. Regular slow-mo and Saitama is still in the middle of the arena, but now the harpoon shots are going in every direction and the harpooners are more likely to hit each other than Saitama. Now, One Punch Man is unable to close the gap, so he uses a serious punch to clear away one quarter of the harpooners. Uh, not gonna lie, I think 50 harpoons per harpooner might have been a mistake. Let's be real, Saitama. I think this whole mod has been a mistake. Ugh, it's like he's being sacrificed to a sacrificial god or something. Let's resume full speed. Oh my god, Saitama, where are you going, buddy? Slow down. I'm gonna do a bird's eye view. We're gonna let this go full speed. And I wanna see if Saitama can actually get close to anyone or the harpoons can do a decent job holding him. No, he has attacked the harpooners. 50 was not enough. Guys, I have a new idea. I have a new idea, it's a great idea. Nothing could ever, 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 ever go wrong. I think our problem is the sheer number of harpooners. They're too far away and they're missing their shots. And now we're gonna shrink the harpoon ring down at this range. How could you miss your shot? We're gonna keep it at the 50 for now. And I'm gonna do a one spread. I wanna see if the spread helps to hit. Zero recoil, one attack speed. And then we're gonna place the smaller number of harpooners. This is about half as many at 58 harpooners. Oh, now big brother and little brother harpooner are side by side. Look at that, that's cute. And uh, this harpooner needs a sandwich. Was this the right idea? Let's see what happens. Slow-mo activated, waiting for the moment. Everything gets fired. Here come the harpoons. You can actually see that one degree spread as the harpoons start to like split apart a little bit, making a tiny like shotgun shell of harpoons. And in maximum slow-mo, you can see them missing the target. Saitama doing his crazy dodging ability, but getting hit in the ribs multiple times by hundreds of harpoons. Which means the harpoons are now going in every direction. And I'd never realized this, the harpoons are way too close. What have I done? <laughs> yep, that's a problem. That's a problem. The harpooners are so close to each other that the harpoons just keep on going, skewer each other, and bring them close enough for One Punch Man to do his one punching. I regret everything. 
I am filled with nothing but regret. I mean, Saitama clearly has been impacted multiple times by the harpoons. He looks great. He's a pincush. That's fantastic. But so has the rest of the battlefield. Okay, we're going to do stupid. We're going to do a stupid. I I, I regret this. This is gonna this is gonna be fine. I hope this is gonna be fine. Take the circle, expand it. One hundred. Spread five. Recoil none. Attack speed five. This 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 is bad. This is bad. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm definitely scared. Ninety harpooners. Spread five. Attack speed five. These guys are going to be vicious. Saitama, I hope you are ready. Waiting for the moment. The harpooners open fire, waiting patiently. But there it is, there it is. The lag is hit. We are waiting for the harpoons to attack One Punch Man and hopefully not break my game. There they go, there they go, there they go. The spread of five. Pause. What have I created? And Saitama, how are you going to dodge this one, bud? Let's watch this one in Slow. Whoa! <laughs> he's gone. He's, he's, he disappeared. He's in there somewhere. Hello, Saitama. Where are you? Um, you may not believe it, but there is a One Punch Man hiding deep under those pin cushions somewhere. How skewered is he going to be? I think we're about to find out right now. Slow mode. Activate. Skewers impact the cameraman. Go through the cameraman. And left behind is a One Punch Man. I'm going to go up. I'm going to look at this guy. He seems to be quite impacted. I don't think he can move. It's almost a giant dinner plate of harpoon wires. Giving the harpooners a five. Oh no. Oh no, we attacked the harpooners. The harpooners attacked each other. And now they're being dragged into Saitama. If there was a way to make the harpooners immune to their own harpoons, this would be foolproof. We are at full speed and Saitama is just a punching there's, look, 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 what is going on? There's so many harpoons. I can't tell what's happening, guys. What have we done to totally accurate battle simulator? We have broken everything. <laughs> Pause the game. I have created a battlefield that denies all physics and ruins all space and time. Saitama's in there somewhere. I am desperate, desperate to find anything that can kill one punch man ah yes we're back in totally accurate battle simulator and i think we need to browse the workshop because somewhere in here is a god that can maybe kill one punch man i so badly want to kill him you have no idea let's do a search type in the word god and these are the units i'm looking at how about we sort them by most subscribers in the past month okay there's a lot of godzillas though this god of deaths seems promising I mean, this unit's just called God. Maybe he's good. Oh, this one's called God Goku. Goku can do it. Let's go. Here we have a uh, God of Light. Sure, why not? He's called God Mode. Maybe he's awesome. Clicky. God of the Katana. Just simply God, and he's building pistols. How is that going to kill Saitama? Oh, now we're talking. That's what I think about when I think of a God. God of Monkeys? Y you know what? Sure, sure. This one's called God Killer 2.0. Oh, oh, you have my attention. How about God Man? God Almighty, he shall vanquish Saitama and this cool looking god of death. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's put all these gods in a brand new faction. And now we just have to kill Saitama. Right? How hard could it be? Here he is, guys. The wonderful, the powerful Saitama. And Saitama's first opponent will be this guy, the God of Light. He looks like Raiden with, like, butterfly wings. Please tell me you know who Raiden is, please. Let's start this fight. I'm gonna go right up here to Saitama because I want to see what he's going to do. Three, two, three. One, go. The fight begins. The god, the god of light didn't even survive one single normal punch. Just an absolutely embarrassing outcome. Well, Saitama, I brought you to the pirate faction, hoping the sand gets in your shoes and slows you down. And this unit is just called God. I do not like the haircut. It does not give me much confidence. And muskets against Saitama? I don't know, dude. Let's see what God can do against Saitama. He's keeping his distance, summoning what looks like a rocket storm. Saitama got serious with a super serious punch, and this god went full reaper explosion. Yeah, that did not go according to plan, guys. Now, Saitama, I bring you to the world of the Monkey King. It's a truly 
beautiful land. And there against you is someone called the God Killer? Though why the God Killer wants to use machine guns, I have no idea. Maybe the sunglasses give him super extra power. Saitama versus the God Killer. Look at the lightning, the wizard spells coming out of the God Killer's guns. Could these be powerful enough to kill Saitama? Also, why the machine gun still ejects bullets when it's firing lightning? I have no idea. Maximum slow-mo, the lightning is impacting directly into the chest of One Punch Man, but he doesn't seem to be affected. We move to regular slow-mo and he's kind of shaking it off. And our God Killer is backing up. Oh, that's Ice Breath, because you know, Ice Breath will freeze Saitama, right? One Punch Man shakes off the lightning blast completely ignoring them and then proceeds to punch the god killer oh look at the blood he punched out all of his blood oh saitama you're too strong today we bring saitama to the wild wild west and he is versus a beautiful looking god i love the golden scythe i love the helmet lightning bolt and scythe is that enough to kill saitama the fight commences Lightning is being thrown, Saitama using furious side hops. Oh, Saitama's head is gone. Saitama's head is gone. And yet that's still not enough to actually defeat Saitama, who got too close to our god and destroyed him. One Punch Man can lose his head and still win. Now we are in the Renaissance faction here for Mr. Da Vinci himself. And Saitama's opponent is this crazy looking god. I mean, look at the wispy tendrils. He looks so powerful. There's no way he's gonna lose, right? The fight begins. Slow mode is activated. Saitama is walking forward. Sword being thrown. Saitama dodges it. Another sword impacting right into the stomach of One Punch Man, but he doesn't seem to care. And One Punch Man gets close uses consecutive normal punches and defeats this god. Apparently the gods that people are creating in the workshop aren't that powerful so far. There has to be one god, any god, that is powerful enough to defeat him. So here in the legacy realm, I have chosen this godlike creature. Can he beat Saitama? Let's find out. Slow motion. We're using a time stop ability from God. Can he actually stop time on one punch? Man, nope, Saitama. Saitama literally ignored time. He's more powerful than time. Consecutive normal punches. God gets wrecked. All is right in the world. One Punch Man versus God of the Katana. Maybe this Japanese God can do the job. Though I gotta say, he looks really, really good. Saitama, we have Fire Breath coming from the God of the Katana. You think One Punch Man cares about a little bit of fire? I don't think so. The Fire Breath has ceased. Red Vic... What? Honestly, why did he die? One Punch Man hasn't even thrown a punch. Did you just give up? Did the god of the katana just perform seppuku? Finally, a moment I have been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. This is the god of monkeys holding on to two giant pieces of broccoli. He is a banana man with a monkey face and he's huge. Saitama, you might finally lose this day. The fight commences. Monkey Man uses a fire breath weapon. The dark hands of God grasp Saitama and they throw him back. They're keeping him under control. Maybe these dark peasant hands can do the job of defeating One Punch Man. No, the super serious punch just killed the monkey god. Somebody please make a more powerful god, please. Here we have the god of death. And what is happening? What is floating above his head? This is the first god we downloaded complete with the blades from that modded unit by Grad. Can this god, with his crazy floating abilities, defeat Saitama? The fight starts, slow mode is activated, consecutive, normal punch it. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. The god is clearly dead, but why does the fight continue? Is there a, a floating, yo, what is this ability? What is going on? What is this ability? Is this a modern ability in the workshop? Look at the blue and black blades going into Saitama. I've never seen this ability before. The fight continues. Saitama is dodging the attacks 
and now there there are insane abilities going on. Whoa, whoa, the god just yeeted himself off the map. Goodbye, god, red victory. Those were modded abilities, and even modded god abilities is no match for One Punch Man. Welcome to the world of Egypt. Saitama is here against God. Um, Goku is so strong, he is hulking out of his clothes. Can God Goku defeat Saitama? Fight commences. Goku with the multiple, multiple laser blasts. Perhaps Kameha of two, and Saitama is completely ignoring it. He's just advancing at regular walking speed. So right now, Goku's too far away to use contextual punches, but not far enough away to use serious punch. We're gonna really weird up. Never mind, Sandstill is over. Consecutive normal punches punches out all of Goku's blood. This god is called God Mode. He looks simple. He looks weak. And I'm hoping that he's more than meets the eye. All right, God Mode, let's see what you've got. Please tell me you're gonna throw crazy amounts of shur shur shurikens. There we go, multiple fire. Nope, hold on, is that Saitama's blood? Did you make Saitama bleed his own blood? Say hello to the god of death. What an absolutely gorgeous specimen. But I get the feeling he's not gonna beat Saitama because nothing has so far. Dark hands of god, grabbing one punch man, lifting him into the sky. You've got a solar maelstrom on the ground, but as soon as you get too close, the punches happen. Oh, this is the final fight. It is Saitama versus every single god from today's video. He has defeated them one-on-one. -on -one. Can you defeat them as a team? I hope you are ready for this one punch, man. Let's start the fight. Slow mode, and Saitama has already killed one of the gods. The dark peasant hands are lifting One Punch Man into the sky, causing great amount of crowd control. But Saitama is in that mass of people, and there's a <laughs> serious punch just happened. What is going on? Where is One Punch Man in this pile? Oh, I found him. I found Saitama, and he doesn't have a head again, but he still might win. Multiple gods have already been defeated and Saitama continues to slam down to the ground because of the Dark Peasant Hand units. It seems like our monkey god is one of the last ones to live, as well as our god of death over here. He just kind of chilling, dragging his swords around. It seems to me that the Dark Peasant Hands are continually slamming Saitama into the ground over and over and over. Hold on, the monkey god doesn't have a leg and a torso. What is going on? I was like that there's like three dead monkey kings around everywhere. It's just hilarious. Has has anyone seen One Punch Man? S S Saitama? Hello? Where'd you go? I have a funny feeling that the god shoved Saitama into another dimension. Do you guys remember when I broke Ooh. 1 billion damage in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator? But then we tried to break 10 billion damage nope. and this happened. 10 billion damage broke the game. But now Fern has fixed his mod. Increase the indicator limit from 2 billion to a lot more. Oh yeah, we're gonna deal a ton of damage to One Punch Man. First up, we're gonna download the updated version of the mod, Bruh. and then we're just gonna drag and drop all of these into the folder, replace the pre-existing ones, and now we should have our updated mod. And now we scroll all the way down to Tony the Accurate Battle Simulator, give it a click, and then wait for it to load, even though the aspect ratio is off. Why are you so broken? There we go. Now we're in. Let's do some quick tests, shall we? Just gonna grab some spear throwers and some spear throwers and make sure the damage mod is activated. And clearly, everything works beautifully. That is 200 damage. Well, in that case, let me go and uh, check on our little mod, guys. Way over here, we have damage test hot dog. Okay, regular, regular hot dog guy. Do, do the damage that you do. Do it. Boom. 589 million damage. You are a disgusting hot dog. But he wasn't the strongest one, right? If we go over here and we go do, 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 do like this, we grab damage test dog ultra and drop him down. This is the one that was dealing 1.2 billion damage. One, two, six, 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 zero, zero, zero. That is a lot of damage. <laughs> You are beyond disgusting. But if you remember, he wasn't the only hot dog we made. We did make damage test dog Mega Ultra, and he was supposed to deal 10 billion damage, but the game broke previously and 10 billion damage never showed up. Did we fix it? Is Fern gonna let us deal 10 billion damage to be squires? The battle commences. He pulls back. The arrow prepares to fly, and the answer is... 
12 billion damage. 12 billion, 666 million, 670 thousand damage. Ladies and gentlemen, we can go upwards of 12 billion damage. So the question begs to be answered. How high can we go? Let's go find our favorite hot dog man, Mr. Damage Test Mega Ultra. And we have to differentiate our damaging hot dog from the other damaging hot dog. So we will give him another piece of, give me some boots. He needs some boots. Man needs some monster feet and, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll dye the monster feet red. You know, so it matches. Okay, it's gotta match the outfit. You know what I mean? It's gotta, it's gotta make the fit fit. And we'll give him some gloves too. Some, some, some spike armor. Yeah, I love the spike armor. Let's go. I'm also gonna add a tower of skulls because I feel like it. And now, we have to somehow deal even more damage. Currently, we sit at 66 million times. What if I add a six? If I add another digit, will it break the game? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight digits. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine digits, it still says one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're gonna take a picture of our brand new unit. Take a photo. Damage test dog. Super, no, 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 hold on. Super Mega Ultra. Now we're talking. Brand new unit. And of course, we have to double check to make sure that this unit is dealing enough damage. Hold on. Damage test dog. Super Mega Ultra. Does it still say one through nine? Does it still say one through nine? I hope it does. It does not. Let me try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Save. Save. Overwrite. It will work. Go back and double check the unit. Move over to damage and oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's enough digits. That's actually enough digits. That's 123 million percent damage on that bow. He's gonna deal so much damage. This is gonna be insane. Let's add our new hot dog man to the faction. Damage test dog, super mega ultra. And now we shall commence the test. The biggest damage number we have seen so far so far it might get bigger drop the squires the moment of truth can that many damage can that much percent the arrow is being fired here is the moment of truth i'm so scared oh it worked it worked wait shouldn't it be way higher than that hold on hundreds thousands millions 23 million Weren't we at 12 billion? 12 billion is, 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 is 12 to 23 is like two and change. We, 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 we were supposed to increase your damage by a factor of 10 times, not two times. I'm disappointed in this result. Okay, you know what it is? Maybe it's the bow. Maybe he needs a weapon that deals more damage than a bow. The bow deals, what, 180 by default? I think we need to upgrade our lovely unit here. Let's take a weapon that does even more damage as a base than the bow. So we're gonna go over here, grab our unit, and we're gonna remove the bow, or we're gonna change out the bow. Actually, you can hold on to the bow, we can change the ammunition. It's no longer gonna shoot a regular arrow. It's now gonna shoot a ballista ball. <laughs> it's literally sinking through his body, are you kidding me? The ballista bolt should deal 2,000 damage base, which is way more than the base of the arrow. Hold on, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a new picture of the, of the ballista bolt coming through the body. <laughs> Double check the damage. The damage multiplier is still there. It looks good. Let's actually save our unit. Uh, we'll override it and we're gonna shoot it. Let's find a beautiful map to fight them on. Let's go to the fantasy good map we'll come over here we will grab our brand new damage test dog super mega ultra with the ballista bolt arrow at a multiplier completely insane and now we will see if this ballista bolt this, this bolt this damage is even bigger than it's supposed to be waiting for the moment this ballista bolt opens fine there it is it is it's actually higher it's significantly higher ladies and gentlemen 246 billion damage 246 billion damage can we deal a trillion damage is that possible no no way it might be possible if we're going to deal a trillion damage we need to upgrade our lovely unit here there we go now our unit is looking godly and ready to kill <laughs> with a trillion damage so basically in our damage percentage we went one through nine i need to go one through zero to make sure it's enough damage here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine zero this many digits this is 1.2 billion times damage multiplying 2000 damage that's a lot of damage take a brand new picture of our lovely hot dog god and let's hope the number sticks we will now name him damage test dog just you know what it is you know, no 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 damage test dog god G -g god damage test dog god 
that dog on, dog on. Save him as a new unit and hopefully the number saves. Let's go and verify the damage number. Make sure it actually has enough digits. One through zero. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. That's enough digits. It saved all the digits. This should deal insane damage. Add our new damage test dog to the game. Moment of truth, gonna drop damage test dog god onto the field. And with the additional multiplier, it should, in theory, crack one trillion damage. 1.2345678 times multiplier. On a base damage of 2,000 on this ballista bolt, will it crack trillion? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold, I, I can't, I can't. I can't. There's too many numbers. I don't know what to look at. I'm gonna pause. What am I looking at? Oh, oh, there's too many. I can't tell. Hold on. Let me just remove all these units. Leave me with one unit. And I'm gonna put this guy over here. Okay. Try it again. Try it again. Please. I, I think. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Guys, two trillion, four hundred and sixty-nine billion, one hundred and thirty-six million damage. We've done it. We cracked two trillion. Will two trillion damage? Kill one punch, man. Going to take our lovely damage test, dog god. Then we are going to take the disgusting and powerful one punch man. Well, oh no, is a ballista bolt even gonna land? Shoot, oh, he dodged it. Can I shoot fast enough? I did, oh, we did it. We shot one punch man for 2.4 trillion damage. His head is gone because of the mod and yet still alive. And he, even though his leg got contorted in a strange direction, he has no head. He still killed my hot dog god. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click the video on the screen. Watch another amazing video. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.